Azian Karn. Today I'll be opening up five packs of the Legendary Collection Yu-Gi-Oh! Sword uh, Mega Packs. And this of course was from the reprinted Legendary Collection 3 Yu-Gi-Oh! Sword. I picked one of those up, uh, but decided to like, you know, discard the box and stuff, or at least not include in the video, since uh, I figured it'd be quicker to just get the packs ready. And also I have to do a quick update for you guys. Uh, next week I'll probably be going on a, for on vacation for like two weeks or something so I already have some videos pre-recorded that I haven't had time to upload yet so I'll probably be uploading those sometime throughout the span of those two weeks so definitely stay tuned for more videos and yeah I'll be ordering boxes of the next upcoming Vanguard sets probably like one of each at least and of course for Duelist Alliance and I'll be hoping to go to the sneak peek for that as well Otherwise, uh, I might be starting work like next month, so that could also be conflicting with my getting of cards. But otherwise, hopefully, uh, I'll be continuing with my videos, so have no fear. So let's go ahead and get started. So of course, all of these packs are unlimited, but seeing as how much the first editions were going for on eBay, these were pretty good alternatives as opposed to paying the crazy prices. And I don't think there's any necessarily a trick for this, so we'll just go through all the cards. So we have a Mystic Box, Horse the Black Flame Dragon Level 6, Black Magic Ritual, a Rare is Toon World, Ultra Rare Smashing Ground, pretty cool, Secret Rare 7 Tools of the Bandit, very nice, so very good card still, Super Rare is Gravity Bind, and to finish off for our commons we have Dark Horse and Earth Chant. Next pack, I'd also like to preserve these packs, but they're just kind of working really easily, so let's see if we can do anything about that. So we have Mystic Swordsman level 6, King of the Swamp, Contract of the Dark Master, our Rare's Acid Trap Hole, Ultra Rare Silver Fang, one of these old school cards, Secret Rare Mystical Space Typhoon, very nice, beautiful card to get. Super Rare Geki Break, still being played in quite a few decks, I believe, especially if you want to discard any cards. Uh, Nimble Manga, and Magic Formula. I don't know why, but the Secret Rare for this card is going for quite a bit, so... Yeah, if you guys know why, please leave it in the comment down section down below. Otherwise, I mean, really, it doesn't do much except power up your Dark Magician, I believe, and Dark Magician Girl. And unless that deck is topping, I don't think it's really doing much right now. Alright, next pack, we have a Dark General of Freed, Sorcerer of Dark Magic, a Rare's Mouth Doll of Demise, Ultra Rare Gravekeeper's Guard, very nice, Secret Rare UFO Turtle, so all the like destroyed by battles and special summons below uh, 1500 attack or lower card and uh, monsters in this set are all Secret Rare, I believe. A Super Rare Karibo, very cool, that original Karibo card. Heart of the Underdog, the Tricky, and the Dark Horse. So, two packs left. Hopefully we can pull something very epic from these packs. And there we go. Common Cell Morning. This card is actually very hard to find in the set. Because the set is just so big. So, very awesome card right there. Dark Sage. A rare is Toon Mass Sorcerer. Another Ultra Rare Smashing Ground. Kind of wish we got something else. Secret Rare Mirror Force, so we're getting quite a lot of good staples. Super Rare Reckless Greed, I believe this card is also being played quite frequently. The Tricky, um, Manju of the 10,000 Hands for those Ritual Decks, and Charm Shapti. Last pack, here we go. And we start this pack off with Green Baboon, Defender of the Force. Gamma, the Magnet Warrior. Rare Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, that blue eyes. Ultra Rare Monster of Warren, very nice. Hopefully this will come off the ban list so the prices will go up. Secret Rare Flying Kamakuri, number one. Another Super Raigeki Break, so quite a lot of duplicates in this opening. And we have Dark Knight Parsha, Heart of the Underdog Inn, and Silent Magician level four. So let's go ahead and do a quick recap. In my opinion, the best common, Solemn Warning. For the rares, we got Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, Toon Mass Sorcerer, Malice Dolph Demise, Acid Trap Hole, and Toon World. So, quite a lot of those tunes right there. 
For super rares, we had Regeki Break times two, Reckless Green, Karibo, and Gravity Bind. Ultra rares, we had Monster Reborn, that, oh, that overpowered card right there. Two Smashing Grounds, uh, Gravekeeper's Guard, and Silver Fang. It's pretty cool as Ultra, though, if only was playable. And for our Seeker rares, we had Flying Kamakiri number one. Mirror Force, very nice. UFO Turtle. Mystical Space Typhoon, very uh, another nice card as well in the set. And 7 Tools of the Bandit to end this off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little opening. As I said, I'll be sure to upload more openings in the future, such as like one every week was my original plan. And I'll be sticking with that. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you disliked it, I guess go ahead and dislike the video because it's up to you. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching, and Azing Card out.